In France, they called us Fées du Roi, Daughters of the King. Most of us came here to start over, to live new lives, better lives, far from Europe's cruelty. All I found was death. <coughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. Good boy. Did you drag me back to shore? Where's everyone else? Is... Oh no. Elan? Elan, where are you? Therese? Marie? Anyone? That's right. We can't be the only ones. We can't be. Come on, boy. Let's look for survivors. Did you find something? The captain's eau de vie. Your owner must be close. Almost empty. Was he drinking when the storm hit? Here, can you pick up the captain's scent? Ugh, that reeks. Can't believe sailors fought over this. Forget it. Let's just keep looking. Is anyone out there? It's me, Jeanne! Ugh, everything's gone rancid. What are we gonna do for food? This is a lens, but it's all. No, 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 she can't be. <sighs> Our Lord who art in heaven, grant me courage to my rosary. Where's my rosary? It has to be here. It, it has to be somewhere. It, it, it has to. Please, not this too. see any footprints. The others must still be on the beach. This place gives me the creeps. Him. 
He's... He's gone. They're all gone. Why, God? Why take them? Why leave me alone again? A Bible. Lord, grant me courage to face this on my own and protect me from evil. Carry the lost to the land which you swore to their fathers and give them peace. Amen. I know, boy. I know. Come on. We need to get help. I don't know how far Quebec is, but... Easy. Easy. Something's out there. The lands Inu call home are more than hunting grounds. They're bridges to our past. There, I walk the paths of my ancestors, track the same prey, cross the same rivers. But that day, the past felt distant. Something changed my home, scarred it, and I needed to know why. More frostbitten flowers. Wind's colder, too. Good. Still on the right trail. Whole forest feels off today. The animals must fear that chill in the air, too. Hmm. Maybe great-grandfather was right. Maybe the scold really is driving the caribou away. But then... What drove this cold here? Huh? Sap hasn't thought. This is recent. Need to be careful. Frost alone can't cause damage like this. Something else door through here. Something big. No sign of Prince, though. Fresh tracks, two sets, but these weren't made by Inu moccasins. White men? Why are they here?
lot of crows out today. Where there's crows, there's carrion. If I follow them, I could find out what they're after. But I'm not sure I want to find out. you done what have you done to our home no use the woods too wet Dead branches from the forest might work better, but... <sighs> Lord, I pray for your protection. You are my hiding place. Under your wings, I find refuge. Protect me, please. <laughs> You're getting cold too, huh? I know, boy. I miss them, too. At least we have each other. Yes, we... What's wrong? <gasps> what is that thing? Wait. Is it searching the wreckage? Oh god. We can't let it see us. Begging you, don't let this happen. Please, please don't let hey. me die. What the? Jesus Christ, you're a long way from home, little lady. Hiding. There are no others. It's just us. You serious? 
God damn it. So much for finding help. Uh, I take it you've been freezing all night, huh? You know how to sew, girl? Huh? Sewing. You know, with needles and thread and shit. Know how? Yes, I do. Finally, a bit of luck. So, I can't exactly take care of this on my own. But I can trade you a fire for a couple of stitches. Sound fair? How do I know you'll keep your end of the bargain? <laughs> Easy. You don't. But unless you feel like waiting for someone else to show up, I suggest you make do with me. And that's how I met Pierre. The man who saved my life. The man who started all of this. A good friend once told me, never let fear or hate prevent understanding. But that day, I didn't want to understand. I wanted to wake up from a nightmare they created. Ugh. That stench. Rotting meat? No! I'd seen death before, but this was something else. Something worse. His snow white fur had been hacked off, not skinned. His remains were gaunt, like he'd been starving. Yet the white man hadn't eaten a single scrap of him. I could taste his agony amid the stench, see it in his eyes. His spirit was crying out in pain, begging to be freed from that decaying prison. felt as if his killers wanted to hurt him, even in death. I have to warn great-grandfather. He'll know how to fix this. Maybe there's still some way to honor the wolf's death and... Huh? The white man's camp. <gasps> He's dead. Oh, that's some serious frost damage. And whatever did this, must have done the same to him. Huh. He froze to death, but it wasn't slow or gradual. More like he was mauled by cold. That's odd. His moccasins are gone. Stripped bare and left behind, just like the wolf. Someone else was here, and he robbed this man.
good riddance. Huh. You brought this upon yourself the moment you butchered that wolf. Stay here and rot like everything else you've ruined. Why? What kind of mantush defiles his brother instead of burying him? The other man left a lot of supplies behind. Probably because he had to. Still a few embers. Fire's been out for a day, at most. A tanning rack. Must have been used for the wolf's fur. But it's gone now. Likely taken by the other man. He looted the camp, left his friend's body laying here, and ran off with the white wolf's hide. Now then, where did he go? Prints are deep, spaced far apart. He ran. behind some belongings, but no sign of the white belt. Still, for him to just drop all this? Fresh blood. Froze before it could dry. It's just like what killed the dead man. Great-grandfather was right. Our elders once spoke of a winter spirit who lashes out when nature is defiled. Should its anger go unappeased, frigid weather would follow, causing countless deaths. I had to find the one who did this, retrieve the white fur he had stolen, lay the dishonored wolf to rest, and fast. Or else, the coming winter would be my people's last. The other girls told me stories about men like him. Called them swashbuckling heroes. Men who could conquer the new world's wilds and beasts. But well, my first impression of Pierre was that he was a wild beast. All right, all done. Don't strain or the stitches might break. Much obliged. Still can't believe you thought I was a werewolf, though. <laughs> Anyone would be scared if they saw a giant brute skulking in the dark like that. Relax. I'm just teasing. Still, after hearing that story, you're luckier to be alive than I thought. You, uh... Have my condolences, though. Lost a friend myself not long ago. I know it ain't easy. For what it's worth. Thank you. I know they're at peace in his kingdom now. But none of them deserve this. New World's a harsh place, Jan. Lots out here can kill. And ain't much will warn you before trying. My line of work taught me that, at least. Your job brought you all the way out here? Mm. A trader's got to trek pretty far east to find furs these days. Ain't easy work, 
But it's decent money. And decent money is about all I can hope for. I was hoping to find more before turning back, but... Something ain't right with these woods. It's like every damn tree is breathing down my neck. The sooner I'm back in Quebec, the sooner I sleep with both eyes closed. You're headed for Quebec? Oh, thank you, God! This is perfect. You can take me with you. Are you kidding? No way in hell I'm doing that. Hike from here to Quebec takes weeks, woman. And I'm already lugging twice the load I oughta. Having you to worry about on top of that would be a goddamn death sentence. Do you have any idea what you're saying? I won't survive here all alone. <sighs> Shipment of soldiers. Carignan Salier or some shit. Might have sailed by here in about a week. Wreckage this size is easy to spot. So signal them clearly. They'll probably stop to sail you home. Pierre? I have no food and can barely start a fire. I'll die if I stay here a week. Besides, how can I signal them if they pass at night or during a storm, huh? Wave my arms. Look, I get your point, but it's still safer here than out there, okay? Oh yeah? Then stay with me. We can both take the ship home. Yeah, I can't do that. Why not? Why doesn't matter. Point is, you can't come with me. End of story. Are you trying to use me as bait? Beg pardon? You said the woods weren't normal. Like something in there was stalking you. And you're asking me to stay here, even though something like that is out there! If you're not trying to abandon me so I get eaten first, it doesn't show. I know you're scared, but your odds won't be better by coming with me. There's carnivores out there, Jeanne. Iroquois, lawbreakers, you name it. There's too many things I can't protect you from. Especially when I can barely protect myself. Stay here, and there's a chance you die, yeah. But come with me, and you're sure to die. You don't know what I'm capable of. All the more reason not to take a risk and find out. What if I say no and follow you anyway? You can't exactly stop me from trying, can you? You really want to test my patience, little lady? Because I don't got much left. And what if me following you wouldn't become a problem? The hell are you getting at? If I keep up with you without becoming a burden, you won't waste time worrying about me. Meaning, I won't test your patience at all. In fact, I'll make your life easier. All I do is follow. Nothing else. Unless you ask. And if you do wear my patience out? Leave me behind and forget me. Whether you do it now or in two days doesn't change much. You're dead set about tagging along, aren't you? I don't want to be alone, Pierre. I really, really don't. This thing's already full as hell. And I, uh, ain't supposed to strain, apparently. So, if we stock up on meat, fur, firewood, I can't be the one carrying it. Still think you'd keep pace with extra baggage. I... yes, of course. Got ourselves a deal then, Miss Angelier. Here's hoping you keep your end of it. I will, Pierre. Thank you. We better hit the hay. Tomorrow's gonna be a long day. This'll be a cold night. Gotta make both count if we plan on making it to Quebec before either get colder. Colder than this? Yep. Come winter, that whole river is going to be frozen solid. And to end. Oh, great. <sighs> uh, 
here. A friend of mine bagged this one. Always said he'd rather own fur this white than sell it, but... Well, he ain't around no more. So someone may as well put it to use for him. This is the most expensive pelt I've got, girl. And unlike him, I plan on making good money off it. You keep it safe, I keep you safe. Got it? Got it. Good. These are definitely his tracks. Seems he headed for the bay. I'll be back soon, great-grandfather. <gasps> That's too big to be an Arwal corpse. What happened here? Looks like the marks our hunters leave when they drag caribou through snow. But whoever did this was dragging something else. Such strange texture. What kind of animal hide did they make this from? Blood soaked so deep it practically dyed the wood. Another campfire. Still a few embers. The thief didn't leave long ago. Didn't leave alone either. Too small to be a wolf. Maybe a coyote. Why would one come this close to a fire? These tracks aren't his. Too slender. Different kind of moccasins. A woman, maybe? Maybe they had something to do with what got dragged off the beach. What's this? Almost looks like painted tree bark. But I can't tell if this is supposed to be a person or a spirit. Well, best not leave it lying around. Last thing I need is another spirit's grudge. Huh. Never seen voles like these before. Well,. No telling if they're safe to eat, but at least they look harmless. Is this glass? Wow, it's smooth as polished bone. What a waste to keep something so disgusting inside something so beautiful.
Is that? A white man's grave. Barely a day old. Did he dig it? Why? Why bury someone now, after leaving your brother for the crows? Fur traders. Just like the ones I found back home. Maybe... They know something about the thief I'm after. Even if asking is risky, I need help to make sense of this. Excuse me! You there! I come in peace! I... Ah! <sighs> They're... they're trying to kill me! I... I have to. Fred! You can come out! My partners will not shoot again! He speaks Inu? These men mistook you for a grave robber. If you come out and agree to speak with me, I'll convince them you mean no harm. You have my word. Oh, monsieur. C'est un enfant. Thank you for your trust. Now, why don't we give this greeting another try? All this for a white pelt? Quite the unbelievable journey, my gun. Unbelievable? As in, you don't believe me? I mean, your winter spirit sounds different from the one I've heard of. But I can't deny the cold. And I don't know many Inu who'd come this far just to lie. Still, your name means wolf, and you're after a wolf's pelt? Quite the coincidence. Come with me. Let's see. If your poacher was heading west, he probably plans to sell the fur at Kepe. He butchered that animal just to line his pockets? Most likely. Frenchmen pay good money for white pelts like that. Once sold, getting it back will be impossible. No! If even worse happens to the wolf's remains, the spirit will... Breathe, my gun. His tracks were fresh. He can't be that far. Give us a moment to finish up and we'll set off together, all right? Wait, you want me to come with you? Of course. We're heading west too. And traveling as a group is always safer. What do you say? I... I, I can't. I'm sorry. I had a feeling you'd say that. Let's continue our talk in private. I won't try to change your mind. But there's something you should know about them. And it could save any lives. Huh? Je pars dire adieu à notre ami. Je reviens bientôt.
So, what's this something I need to know? Got your attention, right? Let me ask you something. Why would you rather travel by yourself than be near their kind? Those people, their actions make no sense. And that scares me. Well, once you learn some French and get to know them a little... I don't want to get to know them. What the poacher did to that wolf should never make sense. Not to anyone. And I can't risk trusting people who think it does. My name, Tehon Wastasta. It means, he who stands tall. Always liked that name. Made me believe I could weather anything for my people's sake. But they just call me Teho. Do they have trouble pronouncing your full name? That's part of the reason, probably. But see, the thing is... Other Wendat call me Tehon, too, nowadays. Your own... Why? Because I preach my people's values while wearing a white man's skin. Some see that as a... dangerous compromise. Then I'm not surprised they call you that. You chose to work with those outsiders. Things are a little more complicated than that. Us Wendat were once tens of thousands strong, thriving through alliances with other nations. We thought white men should be such allies to help us grow and fight back Haudenosaunee. But their greed caused plagues and famines. Destroyed nations and families, brothers and sisters. The ones in black robes did even worse. That's why many Wendat loathe the fact that we still work with them. But we do it to survive. I get it now. You're not submitting to them, you're adapting to them. <laughs> That's right. Guiding, translating, promoting commerce. It lets me keep avarice in check and fur trades fair, all while preserving Wendat values. Not a perfect solution, obviously, but it lets me stand tall for my people. And I'd rather struggle doing that and suffer doing nothing. It's easy to let fear get the better of us when it comes to them. But sometimes protecting our people means learning to understand, not learning to fight. Be sure to remember that once you find this poacher. Do those feelings go away once you learn to understand them? I'm not sure yet. But I don't think uncertainty should stop us from trying. That said, there is one exception. A necklace? The men in black robes I mentioned before. They all wear crosses like these. And I'm not sure they can be understood. Best keep away from anyone bearing that symbol. But what if this belongs to the fur thief? Then you'd best take it with you, in case it helps you find it. And you need to be very careful, my gun. 
The person you're pursuing may be more dangerous than you realize. I learned two things from traveling with Pierre. First, is that he wasn't exactly a good man. Second, is that it didn't take a good man to be a good teacher. What's the holdup? I found supper. See, si, chanterelle. If only we had butter, we could. <laughs> Those ain't chanterelles. You see that glow? That means they're toxic. <laughs> so don't eat them, unless you want to beg God to end the bloodiest runs of your life. Ooh, how did you learn that? <sighs> Personal experience. Anyway, come on. I think there's a good place to set up camp ahead. Why are all these trees rotting? Yeah, this should do. What do you think, boy? You like this spot? you do. Uh, what a day. How much longer till Quebec? At this rate, a few more weeks, maybe a month. <sighs> I pray to Christ himself and God our Father who loved us. By your grace, Give us eternal encouragement and good hope. Strengthen Why do you our... keep doing that? Excuse me? You know how to read, don't you? So why is it you never open that Bible? I don't want to read it, Pierre. I just need a substitute for the rosary I lost. And this is all I have. Oh, bullshit. Girl like you'd get her knuckles whipped raw just for touching that book back in France. Now you've got a golden opportunity to read it cover to cover, and you don't even care. Well, maybe I'm a little curious, but it's still sacrilege for women to read this. And no matter how inspiring God's words are, they aren't worth sinning over, are they? Only one way to find out, ain't there? Anyway, enough dawdling. We ain't done the day yet. I'll hack us some firewood. You get us birch branches for kindling. Hmm. Should be some over there. You want me to go alone? I... I can't. I need you to... Jesus Christ, Jen. Huh. Just because we made a deal doesn't make me a goddamn butler. So, either get your shit together and learn to pull your weight, or piss off. I'm making myself clear. Yes, sir. Good. I 
can't believe the way Pierre treats me sometimes. And what's with him trying to make me read the Bible? Sure, it's tempting, but... More of those toxic mushrooms. If they grow all over the place, I'll really need to be careful. At least he wasn't wrong about the birch. Oh, my feet are killing me. I need a break. Might as well finish my prayer. I pray to Christ himself and God, our Father who loved us. By your grace, give us, give us. It really is quiet out here. Maybe I can take one look, just to make sure he hears me. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. This, this is a sign. He really is watching over me. Thank you, Lord. <sighs> Thank you. We better hurry. He'll throw a fit if he finishes before we do. What are these? Almost looks like deer tracks, but do deer get this big? Not sure I want to find out. These should do the trick. Let's head back before he... Yeah! 
Christ, there you are. The hell happened out there? I don't know. All of a sudden, there was this mist and... <gasps> Shit, did it follow me? Follow? What do you mean? You need to run fast and far as you can. Hide somewhere and wait. I'll find you. But what about... There's no time. Either jump or I push you. Now, woman! Perfect. This Bushinau will tell other Innu where I'm headed. Assuming other Innu actually come. When I was young, I thought survival meant making the most of everything nature provides. But traveling alone reminded me survival is more than just, well, surviving. It's about connection to culture, history, people, even life itself. And those connections are everywhere. The tracks of roaming caribou, who feed us in winter, clothe us all year round. The familiar sight of a blooming yarrow great-grandfather uses to cure the ill. The intoxicating sweetness of Ikudeh flowers and the smell of tea brewed from its petals. Those connections are what kept me going back then. Because no matter the distance, I knew Inu back home survived the same way. Still, connections alone couldn't keep solitude at bay. It hurt having no one to speak to, no one to share stories or even laugh with. But that night, everything changed. There you are. These prints were at the shipwreck, left by that woman the poacher traveled with. If I find her, I'll find him. Blood. Still wet. And lots of it. Trails crooked, too, like someone staggered. Could have been a blow to the head.
Wolves. Not good. What the... This is bad. She must be bleeding out. Or worse. Better hurry. Oh, just my luck. I'll need to find some place to wait this out, with or without her. She's alive. Wait. I'm not trying to hurt you, all right? Just call me on and you're Inu. I you speak Inu Aiman? Damn well gotta speak it to trade with you folks, don't I? Now, you better have a real good fucking reason for creeping up on me. Spit it! I... I saw an accident. Up there, by the brook. I was afraid someone got hurt. Hell of a way to go in the dark just to track one stranger. Well, you're... not who I was hoping to find. But you do seem to need my help. And something tells me I'll be needing yours. You got some real fucking nerve, kid. <sighs> Lucky for you. <laughs> That might not be a bad thing. You lost a lot of blood. Let me take a look uh, at it. Back. Oh. I let my guard down once tonight. And I ain't making the same mistake with you. So watch your goddamn step. It was an insane situation. He could have been the man who ruined everything. Yet, I had to keep him alive, because this was my only lead to find that white pelt. Now, what kind of help do you need? Food, furs, my fucking hat? Before I found you, I was following someone. She has information I need. She? A girl. And if I don't find out what she knows, my people in the East could die. Do you know where to look for someone like that? Let's say... I could tell you something. What's in it for me? I'll make sure those injuries won't kill you. They may be serious, but I've handled worse. <sighs> well... You sure know how to bargain with a man who's bleeding to death. But... This sounds too good to be true. If you don't want to trust me, I can leave and never come back. 
but turning down help in that condition would be a grave mistake. Tony Woods, Tony Woods. So, what's your name? Mygan. This your first time bargaining with someone, Mikan? No. Could have fooled me. <sighs> then again, I can't be the easiest customer. Here's hoping you so half as well as my last doctor. Stop bleeding. I've got to keep moving. Oh, come on, Jeanne. Oh, it's just pain. You can do this. <sighs> I need a place to hide fast. They're fresh. Could this be? No. Too risky. That thing is still after me. I'll have to find him some other way. Closer than I thought. What is that? Why? Who would do something like this? My only option now is Quebec. But how do I make it without Pierre? Captain? Oh no. Bones. Picked clean. Lord, I'm begging you. Don't let this happen to me. I read that Bible because I needed you, and I still need you. Wait, that's the river where I met Pierre, the Saint Laurent. That's it. Maybe I can follow it all the way west to Quebec, and then Oh. 
Oh God! Someone, help! Almost done. I'm impressed. Wasn't expecting you to be a medicine man. I'm not. But great-grandfather taught me well. Great. Real comforting. I didn't know what to think of Pierre at first. Even wounded, he felt dangerous. Like a sleeping wolverine, I shouldn't wake. And yet... He cared about things I didn't know white men could care about. <coughs> what are you putting in there anyway? You want to know how the remedy's made? Sure. Once in a lifetime chance to learn Inu healing, ain't it? Besides, best to know what's in there before I chug it. Sorry, Pierre. I can't tell you anything without Great Grandfather's permission. I promise this is medicine, and it will help. I just... Relax. Inu ain't the only ones who have shit they don't share with strangers. <sighs> and I ain't about to repay you saving my life by sticking my nose where it don't belong. Long as you keep my lungs inside my body. I say, ignorance is bliss. <sighs> Thank you. But, uh, Inu secrets aside, can I at least know why that stuff you're brewing smells like fucking death? <laughs> Don't worry, it's just tea and bear grease. Bear grease? Of course. You hunt, don't you? You must have tried the lard at least once. Uh -uh. Oh. Well, it's supposed to give you energy, assuming you can stomach it. <sighs> Any chance it tastes better than it smells? I'd call the taste... nostalgic. Us Inu always eat bear lard during caribou hunts. So, it has a special place in my heart. Uh, nostalgic doesn't mean good, you know. <laughs> Christ, this wound makes laughing hurt. What even did that to you? Couldn't tell. Too much fog. But it was real big. 
and real painful. And taking that fall, going after Jeanne, didn't help the painful part. Jeanne? Is she the woman I asked about? Yeah. We were traveling together till that thing showed up. Do you think she's still alive? Wouldn't be the first time she survived some crazy shit. When we met by the river, she just crawled out of this god-awful shipwreck. If I'd known how much trouble she'd cause, I would have left her lying ass there. But I promised to get her home. And I don't go back on my word. Sooner I find her, sooner I never have to see her again. Wait. If you were of that shipwreck and heading west, then... Were you near Tudiskak? <sighs> Not where you're from. I was trying to set up business with locals there. Did you see anything unusual? A dead man with frostbite, perhaps? Frostbite? In this weather? Sorry. Trade companies picked those woods clean. I barely found anything. Never mind that. I see. Good to know you're not responsible, then. Whoa. Responsible for what? A white man like you did something terrible to my home. And great-grandfather says a spirit will punish us all for his crime. Unless I set things right. Countless Inu could die come winter. Shit. Sounds serious. It lashes out because of a butchered wolf the poacher defiled. If I retrieve the stolen fur, I should be able to appease it. But white wolves are rare enough. Tracking a single pelt is... Hold up. White? Mont Bleu, Jeanne. She has one, freshly skinned, pale as snow. And she's taking it west. Call that a coincidence if you want, but... That's it! I just need to find her! You... and me both. So what do you say to teaming up? Help me find her. I help you find that fur. Pierre, you'll need days to heal, and the longer I wait... Son, you've never been this far west. You don't even speak French. Tracking one girl out there without a guide or an interpreter, that's suicide. <sighs> You're right. Then as soon as you're well, we head out. Together. Best we start healing you. Show me that wound. Huh. Frozen over. Like he was mauled by cold. Jesus, kid. You okay? Is it... that bad? No. It's just... It looks familiar.
After fighting back a pack of wolves and spending half a month trying to reach Quebec alone, I thought the worst was finally behind us. But the worst was just beginning. Come on, let's find food before it gets dark. Even colder than last night. If this keeps up, foraging alone won't cut it. Boy, what's wrong? Oh, they're not running. I'm not going to hurt you. Good girl. <laughs> Proud of yourself? You're lucky I can't stay mad at you. At least they left us fruit. Getting sick of nuts and berries, though. Wait, is that a campfire? We found help, finally. And you? <gasps> yeah, we know. Easy. I'm not trying to hurt you. My name is Tehon Wastasta. I come in peace. Wait. You speak. But you're not. A Frenchman? No. Afraid not. Though people say I have the accent for it. Is something wrong? No. I'm fine. I just. I wasn't sure that, uh, people like you even knew our language. We're only different colors, not different species. Oh. Right. <sighs> Sorry? It's all right. Besides, you surprised me, too. Hadn't expected the first white lady I meet to live in the middle of the woods. I'm... Um, I'm Jeanne, by the way. And this is Capitaine. A pleasure to meet you. Though, I must admit, it's a confusing place to meet. I heard French women never leave Quebec's settlements. And that's days from here. Well, you see... I've been lost in these woods for weeks trying to find those settlements. Then I saw your fire, came looking for help. Because I don't think I'll be reaching Quebec without some sort of guide. So, you want me to escort you the rest of the way? I know it's a lot to ask, especially coming from a stranger. But I could pay you. As much money as you... I'm sorry, but I cannot accompany you. I'm needed elsewhere, and soon. However, the Frenchmen I work with, they're headed for a trading post nearby. If you're willing to work, I could ask them to provide food and shelter to last the winter. You're serious? I don't know how I could ever repay you. No need to. Besides, I can't promise they'll agree. But at the very least, I'll get you a warm meal and a fire for the night. 
Thanks, Tehonasa. I really do appreciate it. You're welcome. But it's Tehon Wastasta. Tehoa? Wait, no, no. Tewusata. Just call me Tehon. By the way, how did you get so lost in the first place? I, I was sailing for Quebec with a group of other women. But our ship got caught in a storm and... That wreckage? By the Saint Laurent? That was yours? Yeah. Captain and I are the only ones who made it. Then a fur trader found us, tried to lead us home. But I don't know if he's still alive. I see. Is he the one who gave you that wolf skin? It was supposed to be a loan. Why do you ask? Oh, it, uh... It's nothing. Probably just a coincidence. Saying stupid shit. He was Inu, not Lucifer. And Dio, sorry for the wait. Finally, where were you? Um, hello. A woman? <gasps> More like a fucking beauty. These two needed help. I offered to take them with us to the post. Since when do you get to make that kind of decision? I couldn't just leave them there. You're not in charge of this crew. I am. And I say we have no room for dead weight. Wait. Please. I won't slow you down, I swear. Yeah. Don't be harsh, Albert. I mean... Just look at her. She's a real... <laughs> Easy now. Let's stay calm. She's not asking for the shirts off our backs. Just a little compassion. The woods haven't been kind to her. And neither has the shipwreck. Shipwreck? <laughs> what? That floating death trap by the Saguenay? If you were there, you know how bad it really was. We're the only ones who made it out alive. How goddamn stupid do you think we are? Excuse me? You're telling me a nobody tramp like you survived that? And made it all the way here alone? If you're gonna lie, at least make it convincing. I'm not lying! Also, you're making a big mistake calling me helpless. I know what I'm doing. Really? So what? You killed that wolf you're wearing without a gun? That was someone else, a stranger. So right. Let me get this straight. Wait, what are you? Random bastard shows up in the middle of nowhere to save you, then disappears, and he just gave you a pelt that nice out of the goodness of his heart? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Her story reeks of bullshit. Christ, what if she's a thief? Or a witch? Next words out of your mouth better be the goddamn truth. Yeah. How'd you really get your hands on that pelt? And why's a harlot like you got a damn Bible? Well, well. Wait till the boss hears about this. No. You mustn't get the Jesuit involved. 
Jesuit. A church missionary runs the trading post? That's right. And he decides what happens to heathens like you. Get rope. I don't want to run it off. Albert, please, you can't. Hey, learn your place or I'll remind you of it, Wendat. I always believed honesty was a virtue. But that day... Fine, take me to him. I've been trying to tell you I'm supposed to meet your leader. The hell'd you say? My name is Sister Jeanne Angelier, servant of the Jesuit order. What? Just like your employer, I came to save natives by converting them to God's faith. What do you think he'll say if he learns you spurned a woman of the cloth? Wait, Tehan, is she telling the truth? I, uh, I haven't, uh... I don't care what he has to say. I want proof. Y yeah You know sermons from the good book? Church medicine? Anything? Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Isaiah 4110. If you want to check for yourself. Not that I expect any of you to know how to read. You little... Uh, fine. You can come. But what happens after we reach the post is your problem. And you better pray to God I don't find out you were lying. Get her food. I don't want her hungry ass slowing us down. Albert! You can't be serious! She's... I said do it, you fucking inbreds! Funny, isn't it? I lied because I was afraid of death. Of being alone. Yet, both those fears came true in the end. My favorite season used to be when leaves change colors. A time when Inu set off on family journeys to hunt caribou and endure winter. But that day, those colors reminded me how far from home I really was. And that time was running out. Loons? Migrating already? Another warning from the winter spirit, I guess. Not like I need more after Pierre's wound. What will I have to do about him if we can't track down the white pelt? What if I have to? Hey! What took you so long? <laughs> You have any idea how hard it is to take a piss right now? Ah, oh, I was trying to empty my bladder, not my whole goddamn chest cavity. <laughs> Careful, Pierre. I didn't replace all those bandages just to see you die from a bad joke. My jokes are great, Abajois. Anyway, come on. Let's hit the road. Sure you want to lead the way? Thought you said you'd never been this far west. I haven't. But I know exactly where we're going. What, like by instinct? Something like that. 
I've navigated forests my entire life, you know? Plus, you did notice her prints up there, right before we met. Well, I won't argue with an Inu when it comes to tracking. But if somehow you get us lost, you ain't ever hearing the end of it. Rain's getting rugged. Huh. I'd kill for one of those flying canoes right now. Flying? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> what? You never heard that story? Right, so. <sighs> There's these three friends, yeah? They love hunting. Love it so much, they even skip Sunday Mass to shoot deer. What's Mass? Ah, just some scam you ain't supposed to skip. Not important. Point is, one day, an old man shows up. Offers these guys a deal. Says if they hunt for him, he'll give them a boat to sail the skies. And the hunters, obviously, they're stoked. They agree, get a flying canoe. How did the Elder make a flying canoe? Did he use a special bark? Hmm. Don't know, don't matter. Anyway, these hunters use the flying canoe to hunt more than ever. From dusk till dawn for days on end, they kill and kill and kill. But when they finally try to land, the canoe won't let him. Turns out the old man was the devil, cursing him for skipping mass. So they end up damned to hunt for all eternity, roaming the skies in a flying canoe. I don't think I understand. What's a devil? He's uh, an evil spirit, basically. Worst of the worst. This still doesn't explain why it lashed out like that. Hey, I said they skipped mass. They had it coming. Whole point of the story is about staying close to God and going to church. Sounds more like a warning. Don't let greed drive you to kill needlessly. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So, what about you, huh? Do you think you can tell a better story? Of course. Let's see. A long, long time ago. There was a talking lynx who married Inu women. Huh. You mean one of them wildcats? <laughs> and you say my story made no sense. Like I said, this was a long time ago. Back when all creatures lived as perfect equals. Now this lynx was a hunter, but on days without prey, he ate his brides instead. No hunter could seem to catch him, so he wed and fed on countless inu women. Christ. One day, 
A strange woman came forth to end this tragedy. If none of you can kill him, she said, then I will, for he cannot eat me. So she left her people behind, found the lynx, and married him. What, just like that? Ain't we skipping a few steps? Good storytellers know to skip the boring parts. Now, one cold winter evening, hunting had been poor. Lynx was very hungry. He came home hoping to devour his wife, but she was nowhere to be found. There was only a roaring fire in the middle of their tent, so big it singed the walls. Lynx was at a loss. It was too cold to search for her, and he was too hungry to hunt. So, he sat by the fire, thinking, thinking, until the fire began to cook him. Hang on. What? Lynx thought he smelled delicious, so delicious, in fact, he wondered how he tasted. He cut off a piece of his leg, roasted on the fire, gave it a bite, And he was amazed. He was the tastiest thing he ever tried. So Lynx kept eating over and over until he tried roasting his own heart and died. Sure enough, his wife had tricked him and saved all Inu women. You, uh, enjoy that story? <laughs> of course. It was my favorite when I was little. Did you not like it? Well, I mean, I didn't hate it, but maybe it'd be funnier if you knew how to tell it in French. Oh, Christ. What's wrong? Things scared the living shit out of me. See? Thought it was the thing that attacked me again. You shouldn't be afraid, Pierre. This is a sign the forest is treated with respect. Inu do this to animals we hunt, to honor their deaths and give their spirits peace. Yeah. Well, it sure as shit didn't give my spirit peace. <laughs> I'll be damned. You really did know where you were going. Wait. Look at that. At what? There. Skid marks on the slope. Footprints at the bottom. Holy hell. Must be hers. Maybe. But something doesn't seem right. I should take a closer look. Hang on. Check this out first. See here? Hmm. Dog tracks. A few days old. Pretty sure they were left by Jeanne's dog. Mutt must have gotten spooked, so she went after him. I don't think that's true. That print's almost bigger than my hand. And those claws. Shit. Wolf? Seems like it. You think it was hunting her? 
Only one way to find out. Most of these prints match. Shouldn't be more than five. Five sounds like plenty to me. You don't think these belong to her, right? No. Bones are too small. Weeks old, too. Weeks? Christ, no wonder they went for Jeanne. Once must have been starving. Prints are deep, spaced apart, like they were sprinting, chasing prey. Can't make that jump with my wound still tender. Tell them without me. I'll find another way down, meet you ahead. All right. Keep your guard up. The wolves could be nearby. Don't worry. I'll be real ready for them. all this just like back home is this Jeanne's doing does this mean she's close Fucking massacre around here. Think Jean got away somehow, but I doubt she's in one piece. Where'd she go? That way, I think. It is her. Just a little further, just a little further and I can... <sighs> Easy. Easy. I know you're scared. But I'm not trying to hurt you, okay? Okay. I'm going to leave now. Nice and... Icon! Hold on! Say your prayers, Shinsa! Wait! You'll draw the other wolves right to us, and if you miss... Fine. What's the plan? 
don't break eye contact, and... Shit. What now? I... Maybe we can... I need more than a fucking maybe. God damn it. Stop! You'll make the spirit... My gun! Get down! No! Surprised you didn't go straight to bed. I tried, but I have trouble closing my eyes around them. Albert will be angry if you're too tired to keep up tomorrow. You think he needs my help getting angry? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Tehan. I wanted to apologize. Lying to save my life was one thing, but I didn't have to make you part of it. Especially after you took a big risk helping me. I'm sorry. I don't resent you, Jeanne. Those three were out of line long before you were. And they would never try apologizing like this, either. But pretending to be a nun isn't the issue. That is. My Bible. The men of God I've met all carry that same book. And if owning one makes you anything like them, helping you was a mistake. What? Tehan. Priests dedicate their lives to saving people. How is it a bad thing for me to serve God's will like them? God's will, huh? What is that exactly? What does this spirit you all worship stand for? Well... For me, God is. He's the reason I didn't give up when I was alone. Believing he watched over me, guided me in times of need. It kept me moving forward, even when everything felt hopeless. So, God gives you faith in the future? That's right. Strange. The Jesuits I know want nothing more than to destroy my people's faith. W what do you mean by that? <sighs> These men of God are not what you think they are. And you need to know why.
I can. I can. Hey! What the hell are you doing? We gotta move. You go on without me. I'll catch up once I've taken care of the body. Are you out of your... Kid, we have no damn clue how far Zan got. Or... If she's alive. And the longer we wait, the worse our odds of finding her get. I don't care. I'm not going to forsake my people's principles and let another wolf be dishonored. Jesus Christ. My can, you're not being realistic. Realistic? What part of honoring the dead isn't realistic to you? The part that puts our necks on the line. What if those wolves come back for us, huh? What if something worse comes? We'll die, the girl will die, and so your goddamn people. Look, I killed that thing to save your life. Now, you can use that life to come with me, find Jeanne, and get your pelt back. Or, you can waste it here, coddling a corpse. A waste of life? That's what you call this? You're a murderer, Pierre. The hell just say to me? You were going to kill that wolf before it even thought of attacking. Just like you were going to kill me when I found you in that cave, before I even spoke. How many times did you pull that trigger when all you had to do was listen? I have no idea how many meaningless deaths you've caused. But I'm willing to bet it's too many. And if you really think taking responsibility for even one of them is a waste of life, you're even worse than I thought. How much wood do we need? Jesuits came to our land bearing messages of peace. We welcomed them at first, shared our languages and customs, brokered alliances. But peace was never their goal. They only sought to convert my people to Christian faith, no matter what the cost. Granted, some went out embraced God by choice. Others chose to preserve traditions, yet all of us paid the price. Jesuits sold malcontent among our ranks, fostering division. They fought to replace our leaders, hoping to control our very lives. When that failed, they spread plagues we had no cures for. And disease does not discriminate based on belief. We buried Thousands because of them, Jean. Thousands. Back home, I heard stories about church missions meant to convert natives. But, God, no one said anything about this. If you'd never met me, maybe no one ever would have. <sighs> In the end, Hodnoshani raiders scattered the Jesuits. Then, despite death, despite division, the Wendat stood tall. We rebuilt what could be salvaged, found new ways to move forward. But now, 
more than ever, we need to make peace with the past, learn to coexist. To do that, both our peoples must foster fair trade and understanding. Augustin, the priest who runs the trading post, agrees. And I want to believe he's better than the others. But together, we can heal from all this loss and pain. But every time I see his cross, or his book, or his condescending smile, I remember they took more from us than anyone will ever realize. And that's... Huh. That's beautiful, Mikan. Don't go falling behind, girly. Worry about yourself. Are you ill? You didn't sleep much after our talk last night. Just cold, and looking forward to a real bed. Good thing we're close, then. Wow. Sight for sore eyes, huh? Albert, why was this area clean-cut? Augustin promised to leave trees for Wendat. Beats me. Must have been short on firewood. But why take the ones we need for shelters? He could have just... Hey, don't ask me. Ask him. He's the one out there dealing with the natives. They're still here? Tehan? What's wrong? Who's here? The Wendat come to hunt and trade. But something must have happened. They were supposed to be gone by now. I hope Augustin has nothing to do with it. I thought you said he was different from the others. I did. But that doesn't mean I'm sure. I should go on ahead. Make sure everything's all right. Meet you at the gates! Hey, don't worry. He'll be okay. Besides, look! We actually made it. Better get going before they leave us behind. Come on. Come on, Captain.
What do you expect them to do now? Tehan, please. If all your kinsmen seek is shelter, God will always welcome those in need. Perhaps we can discuss the matter after I consult my associates? Quattatioto. <sighs> Uh, Father de Lyon. Gentlemen, I see the Lord did not bless you with fruitful hunts. Yet I see he graces us with a guest. My, my, such a precious lamb led astray from her flock. What is your name, child? I'm Jeanne Angelier. It's an honor, dearest Reverend. <laughs> oh, please, none of that. Father Augustin is formality enough for me. Where did you find this girl? She found us. Came here hoping for a place to stay. Was headed for Quebec, but her ship sank and she got stranded. And she claims she's a nun, carries a Bible and everything. She even read from it, sir. Is that so? Miss Angelier, is it true you laid eyes on our Lord's words despite lacking the right? Answer me. I admit it. I did read his holy book. But without the faith his words gave me, I'd not be standing here today. Those prayers gave me strength to reach this place, so I may serve him. A soul who sins out of pure love for Christ. <laughs> you remind me of myself, Miss Angelier. Very well. I'm willing to overlook this misstep if you abide to my terms. First, you must never lay eyes on the Bible's pages again, under punishment of exile. Secondly, you must assist those most in need. Agree to do my bidding to help foster peaceful relations with these unlucky Wendat, and I will gladly provide you room and board. Promise not to repeat the mistakes of past Jesuits, and I'll agree. You have my word. Do not let your men lay a finger on this girl. She is to serve Christ alongside me. Sir, with all due respect, that harlot's a... Albert, did I request your opinion or obedience? Tehan! Show Miss Angelier to her quarters. I want her well rested for tomorrow. Fine. But if you take advantage of this woman, or use her to take advantage of us... Oh, please. I've told you time and time again. I have no such mercurial intentions. My hand to God, she and I shall only work for the good of your kin. Come with me. Tell me the truth. What did you agree to? It's fine. He just wants me to work for him. I was afraid of that. Father de Lyon's trading post was little more than ramshackle lumber and a few angry brutes. 
But I had safety here, a routine, a home. And best of all, I had a purpose. Morning, John. You free to play dice? I want payback for last night. Sorry, Florent, not now. Father Augustin has work for me. <laughs> of course he does. Well, best not keep him waiting. He should still be at the chapel. Got it. Thanks. Tehan? Is everything all right? Oh, in the ocean. Just tired of negotiations going nowhere. Early winters make business complicated. But we'll handle it. We always do. Okay. Good luck. Keep walking, girl. I don't want to deal with your crap while I'm on break. The dorm's roof sprung another leak! Christ, I'm sick of this shithole! What well, were you expecting out here? Versailles? Just be glad we have a roof. A lot of places are way worse off than us. A lot of places are way better off, too. Poor things. I feel bad having to cook them. That Hudson Bay outpost we worked at with Bernard, that was leagues nicer than this. Nothing like the smell of fresh baked loaves to make a place feel like home. Yeah, well, Hudson Bay don't pay us like Augustin either. Wow. Never realized these were made from tree bark. It's a miracle they don't get ripped apart by River Rapids. If you plan on making real money with the rest of us, suck it up and pull your weight. Fine. I'll fix the roof. They have enough guns to start a war. Father Augustin's cabin. Bet it's way nicer to sleep there than the dorms. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and pardon us our sins. Amen. Ah, good morning, Jeanne. Peace be with you on this fine day. Thank you, Father. Albert said you needed me. Indeed, and for an important task, no less. I presume you're aware of our guests' precarious circumstances? I am. Tehan said the weather has been abnormally harsh. There's almost nothing left to hunt or forage, and their people's crops have suffered too. Some want to leave before the first snow, but it might be worse back home. Hmm. Dreadful, isn't it? 
Well, fret not, my dear. The Wendat shan't be forsaken. My associates and I will host a banquet soon, in honor of Toussaint. We have enough food left for that? Of course. I've been planning this celebration for quite some time, you know. We shall have fruit and bread, wine and venison, even mushroom stew. But to indulge in merriment when our allies suffer? That would be vile. Thus, I was hoping you'd extend Tehan an offer of conciliation. Invite him and the Wendat to stay a little longer, so they too may partake. That's a wonderful idea, Father. But, um... I mean no disrespect, but... Why not ask yourself, Father? <sighs> You've seen how unreasonable Tehan can be with me. No matter how benevolent my intent or delicate my wording, I fear he'll misinterpret my generosity as callous or conniving. But you, my child, you he will listen to and trust. Should you sway him, we may finally begin mending the rift between Frenchmen and Wendat. All right. I won't let you down, Father. You never do. Just be sure to extend our invitation sooner than later. Just you wait, you fucking Iroquois. You ain't ready for me. Bernard, what are you doing up here? Keeping watch. Iroquois warbands have been attacking settlements a lot lately. But they won't get the drop on us again. The second I even think I see one, <laughs> BAM! Why are they raiding us in the first place? Is there something they want? As far as I can tell, they just get a kick out of killing us. So I gotta keep ready. Just in case. What awful handwriting. Must be Albert's. Hey, where do you think you're going? You're supposed to be sweeping the goddamn dorms, so get to work! Look, Albert. I'm busy right now, okay? This can wait. No, it fucking can't. You slack off, waste food, and your stinking mutt's a pain in my ass. So give me one goddamn reason I oughta... You know, your boss really won't be happy if he hears you made me late. Those floors better be spotless tomorrow. Thanks, boy.
Is she a rascal? Costor. Oh, Jean. Oh, Onyatenor. What brings you here? I, uh, I was supposed to deliver a message, but... Tehan, since when have things been like this? Longer than I care to admit. We're managing now, but it is becoming colder. Unless trades or hunts improve soon, things will get worse before they get better. I'm so sorry. If I'd known it was this bad, I would... Come. We should talk elsewhere. Give him a chance to rest. Now, what's all this about a message? Well, it's good news, actually. Father de Lyon wants to invite you and the others to a feast. A feast? For what occasion? It's to, um... Celebrate the life and death of all God's saints. I know it sounds bad, but he just wants them to stay a few more days and... Absolutely not. This is another Jesuit scheme, and I want nothing to do with it. It's not like that. He only wants to help. I'd like to believe that. But accepting this offer will make their safety depend on him. And that's too big a risk for me to take. Look, Tehan. I can't force you to trust him, but... Turning him down is only going to make things worse. Wendat could die if things don't change soon. And I don't want that to happen. So please... Stop clinging to anger or pride. Let us help before it's too late. You're right. We won't make peace with the past by letting fear dictate our choices. I'll tell Augustin we accept. Glad to hear that. Do you, uh, want me to come with you? Just in case? If you want. Though, you've already done more for us than I could ask. Besides, you may uh, have your hands full already. Sorry, boy. Now's not a good time. Hey, hey, it's, it's okay. We'll come back and play some other time, all right? Some other time. That's right. Back then, I didn't realize those halcyon days wouldn't last. Watch your head. Thanks. I don't understand. The weather is getting colder. But Pierre learned his lesson. The Winter Spirit shouldn't resent him anymore. Unless... Everything all right? You're muttering again. Sorry, I, I just... Never mind. It's not important. If you say so. Come on. Gotta keep pace if we want to catch up. By the way, 
What's a pus de traite like, exactly? You don't know? Thought there was one by Tautuskak. Oh, there is, but... I hated the fact it even existed. Our traders came back from there drunk or dying from diseases we couldn't cure. So I'm not exactly thrilled about visiting a place just like it. Sir, no wonder you're jumpy around white folks. Anyway, a poste de traite is, uh, uh... Like a fortified meeting place for traders, basically. Natives bring furs, Frenchmen pay with goods, and both sides go home richer. <laughs> Something tells me the French go home richest. That's sometimes the case. Watch your step! Ice here slick as shit! So, what makes this bus de traite special? Well, apparently, a missionary runs it. Missionary? Like those men in black robes? That's what I heard. They say he don't care much about making money either. Maybe the guy's just a saint looking to help folks in need, but still, it's pretty odd. And you're sure Jeanne will be there? Nope, but her trail's gone cold, and we don't exactly have other leads. My guess is she struck a deal to get shelter for the winter. Or she's lying dead in a ditch, under half a foot of snow. I just hope she hasn't sold the fur. I'm done. Let's call it a day. <sighs> What's on your mind? I'm... I'm not looking forward to being surrounded by white men again. Eh, you'll be fine. We've been speaking more French than Inu lately, haven't we? I should be thanking my oh-so-humble teacher for that. Uh, best way to repay me is with a bottle of good booze. Hell, there's an idea. We should share a drink once we get there. You know, celebrate getting this far together. A drink? Like fire water? I appreciate the thought, although I don't think I'd be comfortable doing that. Oh, right. Guess you wouldn't be. Well, I'll think of something else. Still gotta celebrate somehow. I'll go get firewood. Every now and then, Pierre did things that made my belief in him waver. He always called them mistakes. Good intentions gone wrong. But those mistakes happen so often. I couldn't help but wonder, maybe I was the problem. Maybe I spent so much time trying to make him understand me. I never took time to find out who he really was.
better with an axe than I thought. Sure you don't want a break? I'm fine. Keep them coming. <laughs> You're the boss. Good. <sighs> Again. Gonna have enough wood for that Toussaint bonfire in no time. Hey! Morning, Tehan. What's... Where is he? Huh? Augustin. Where? Uh, he... he's at the chapel, but... Christ. Never seen him that worked up before. Well, not our problem. Come on. One more swing. Nice. What you did, traitor. All right, next one, John. Chop, chop. Um, on second thought, I'll take you up on that break. Ah, fair enough. Don't take too long, all right? Oh, enlighten me then. Calmly. You must not yell in the house. Do not give me orders! They told me what you did. Your chants, your holy water. What gives you any right to do that behind my back? Uh, you're being unreasonable. I only offered prayers to the ill. Where's the harm in the... Don't you dare lie! I know this feast is just another ploy. But I will not let Jesuits hurt my people again, no matter what I have to do. Tehan, I gave you my word. I will not force the Wendat into anything. If they come to me seeking God, it will be of their own free will. You! Oh, good day, Miss Angelier. How go preparations? Uh, everything's on schedule. Wonderful. What now? Which one of them am I supposed to talk to about this? Not a good time. Please. I want to talk about what happened in the chapel. There's nothing to tell. I just lost my temper. Tehan, we're friends. You don't have to hide what happened. Not from me. Look. You can see our shelters from up here. Albert was on watch when I was absent yesterday. He told Augustin I was gone. And then Augustin did something to my people. He claims it was nothing but prayers for the sick, but... The truth is rarely what white men claim it is. Listen. Even if Father Augustin had no right to do that without asking, there's no guarantee he lied. Maybe he really did just pray. I know. 
Then why in the world did you? Because I can't take it anymore. Every day I work myself to death trying to understand people who despise us. And every day I see him in the shadows, waiting to undo all the good I wrought. It's like he's trying to remind me that he can hurt us any time he wants to. And this time, I helped him get away with it. I agreed to this feast. I gave him what he needs to make my people suffer. I... Tehan, listen to me. I wouldn't have begged you to stay if it put the Wenda in danger. And Father Augustin just wants to make the world better, like you do. It doesn't matter, Jeanne. Even if he's not like other Jesuits, even if I could trust him like you do, accepting his help feels like admitting my people are weak, that we need his salvation. And I'm just so tired of it. These ones are ready, Florent. Perfect. Just get those mushrooms for the Wendat stew, and we're done. They're in food storage. Crate marked with a cross. Got it. You're seriously not making this up? Hell no. And the god. I walked in on the boss getting dressed by accident. And he has huge scars on his back. Like, waist to neck. Christ. I heard rumors some Jesuits got tortured by Iroquois a few years back. But I never thought they were true. Me neither. Hey, boy. Wanna walk with me? Fine. Be a glutton. <laughs> Can't believe the guy still talks about helping natives after all that. So your name's... Dio, Tehan. Dio, Jean. How's everything going? Better than expected, despite the language barrier. All we're really missing is you. <laughs> That's sweet of you. But taking part in this feast would mean supporting the faith it celebrates. And I cannot give Augustin that satisfaction. I understand. Well, if you change your mind... <laughs> You'll be the first to know, I promise. Ah, Miss Angelier. I trust our festivities proceed smoothly? Of course, Father. Seeing everyone getting along like friends, it's... Practically a miracle. Ah, on Toussaint, we celebrate the saints who served our Lord till the end. And I can think of no greater way to honor their sacrifices than this. I owe it all to your loyal dedication. You're too kind, Father. Run along, dear. The evening has just begun. There is much left to do. <sighs> A 
passion bother him more than I already have? If he comes around, fine. If not, I need to accept it. What does that mean in French? These must be the mushrooms. Wait, why are they? <laughs> Those ain't Chantrell. You see that glow? That means they're toxic. <laughs> so don't eat them, unless you want to beg God to end the bloodiest runs of your life. Oh, no, 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 no! This... this has to be a mistake! If I tell Tehan, he'll lose his mind. And I can't have him start another fight over a mistake. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and pardon us our sins. Father Augustin, there's an emergency. Look! Not fond of Chantrelle, are we? Worry not, child. They're for Wendat only. No! They're toxic! People could get sick or, or die from these. Who told you this? It was Tehan. He showed me what... Wait... Who told me? You knew! This... There has to be a mistake, I don't... Miss Angelier, please... Calm yourself. I never meant to deceive you. Only preserve your innocence. I mean, you spent so much time with Tehan. I feared you'd grow conflicted. And I could not let you choose him over making the world a better place. I... I don't understand. How is this going to... It will render the Wendat weak and pliable. Perfect for our purposes of peaceful conversion. Conversion? How could you? The Wendat needed you! Indeed. And once they fall ill from eating these, they'll need me more than ever. However, only those who accept Christ as Savior will receive aid, of course. That's inhuman! Perhaps. But they've rejected salvation so often. Drastic measures have become necessary. After all, I would sooner kill a heretic than fail to redeem one. He warned me not to trust you, and I should have listened. All you did was use me, just like you used God to make innocents suffer. They are not innocent! You have not witnessed what those animals are capable of! You have not buried saints who carried his message of peace! We Jesuits were sent to shepherd the Lord's wayward flock. 
But those savages are not lambs of God. They are a murder of crows. I have seen them feast on the livers of living men, even as they wailed for mercy. I have seen them skin scalps from the heads of pastors, like peel from Eden's apple. I have seen hell, Miss Angelier, crossed its rivers, wandered its valleys. And I know you have as well. Because you're exactly like me. We are not the same. I'd never resort to blasphemy like this. Oh, but you already have, my dear. From the moment we first met, you confessed to lying. You scoured our Lord's holy book knowing full well it was sacrilege. You committed evil in the name of faith. How is my sin, my mission, any different? And who knows what other falsehoods you've sown? Why, just earlier, you claimed Tehan knew of these. You are a wicked creature, child. But do as I say. And God will forgive you. Refuse, and I will banish you in his name, back into those wicked wilds. Fine then, banish me! I'm not afraid! Oh, but you should be. Because I will throw you into those blizzards, naked and starving. I will deny you the companionship of Tehan, traitors, even your dog. And I will brand your flesh with fire to let the whole world know you're beyond God's help. Now, I suggest you consider your options very carefully. Because whether you do what must be done, or suffer heresy alongside them, God and I will be watching. All of you, calm down! You wonder how what the f Hey! Keep in line! Is this what it's come to, Augustin? We don't bend the knee so you have us poisoned? Tehan, I assure oh. you this is a grave misunderstanding. So Nothing I'm more. Done. Tell your men to calm down and... I am through hearing you pretend to be innocent, you murderer! Jeanne oh. told us everything! She what? Do you realize what you've done? What God will do to you for betraying me? If God punishes me for this, so be it. But your punishment will be worse. 
Because I'd rather be a heretic than see you get away with this. <laughs> we want justice, Augustin! Whoa! Taiwano! You Taiwano! Come! It's Taiwano! Seize her! Taiwano! No! Put me down! Jen! Albert! Let her go! She's Stay out of this, Teon! This ain't your problem! This is between her and Ah! behind. How much longer till the Poste de Traite? Not far now. Just gotta get past these hills. And thank fuck, too. I'd kill a man for a warm bed right now. I'd worry more about Jeanne if I were you. Well, ain't much we can do for her, other than hope she's there. Same goes for that wolf pelt. Wait, is that... the Winter Spirit? Hey, where are you going? You go ahead. I'll catch up. The mist. Is it guiding me? This is worse than ever. Like the closer we get to that poste de traite, the more it lashes out. I need to warn Pierre. My guys, get the fuck over here! Holy shit! Holy shit! What in the... How? How did this happen? Who cares? If Shen's in there with the fur... Look! Outside the camp! Survivors? We need to get down there and help. Fast! Right. Lead the way. not the time right now we need to put out that fire no it's too late for that just gather survivors and tend to wounded i can't handle them alone yeah no shit i'll take care of the traitors you two help the wendat thank you 
Hurry, my god! Keep it together, man! We need to get you out of here! As... As... Dore! What's wrong with him? I'm not sure. He was running a fever before getting these burns. But when we put snow on them... Y you were trained by a medicine man, right? Tell us what to do! I... I don't know. I think he's in thermal shock, but I... Great-grandfather never taught me how to handle this. And medicine is sacred. If I act without guidance... If we don't act, he dies! Boil water for tea, and mash red berries with bear lard. That should help with fever and infection. You, mix the rest with beaver oil and crushed fur. Apply it like salt once his burns are clean, and hope for the best. I can't guarantee it'll work, but... Uh... Help! Help me! Someone was still inside? Come on! this on yourself, and I should let you burn for it. What are you doing? We need uh, to save him. Uh, no, we don't. There is no understanding of uh, men who only want to break us. And our people won't know peace until we're rid of him for good. this man to die, and you'll be the same as him. A person ruled by fear and hate who thinks some lives matter less than others. And that is not what you stand for. I know it isn't. We won't make the world better by mistaking justice for revenge. I'll lift the beams. You drag them out. Right. What are you doing? Get away! I don't want your pity! Please just take my hand and- Don't touch me! I'd rather die than be saved by savages! And I'd sooner kill a heretic than fail to redeem one! Get out of there! I learned a hard lesson that night. No matter how hard I try, no matter how good my intentions, some people cannot be saved by understanding alone. Shh. 
I'm here, boy. It's okay. I'll be here till the end. I tried, but they won't save him. We're safe. You can rest. now. Onion, it's going down. And check you out. Oh? Oh. Is there a squad in the room now? Yeah, they're on down, my man. They're a west squad. Attend you on the ration deck. He wanted to be a dad, Flora, more than anything in the world. But all I did was call him a drunk. And now, God damn it. 
Pourquoi lui? It's not your fault, Christophe. He's in a better place now. The sick Wendat, Saranes. He died from his injuries overnight. I just hope my attempted remedy did something to ease the pain. We'll bury you properly soon. May your journey back to Mando be safe. The man in the black robe. He's missing. Someone there. Pierre? I had to find the one who did this. He robbed this man, just like the wolf. What kind of mentor defiles his brother instead of burying him? What are you doing? This ain't what it looks like, all right? I was only gonna... What? Keep quiet and hope I never found out? Just like you lied about butchering that white wolf. How the hell do you know about... I knew from the start, Pierre. I just wanted to believe I was wrong. How can you disgrace the remains of your own kind? Disgrace anyone's remains? And why would you hide the truth? Because uh, I knew you'd react this way. How else am I supposed to react? I tried so hard to make you understand us. I taught you stories, principles, the value of life. And now what? You throw those teachings away because they're inconvenient? You're goddamn right I am. First off, you shouldn't care what happens to this filthy hustler. And I'm doing this because I need to, not because I want to. The only way to survive at a time like this is making the most of what death leaves behind. That's your excuse for debasing corpses? What do you mean, excuse? Leaving this guy and his shit to rot would be worse! Don't you Inu live by that whole waste-nothing rule? I mean, goddamn. Say what you mean, and tell me what's so wrong with staying alive! Survival is not the issue here. It's the fact you do so without any respect for the Fallen! Yeah? Well, respect ain't worth squad if it kills you. Excuse me? In a perfect world, we'd be treating every stinking corpse like the second coming of Christ. But fact is, if you die caring for the dead, you can't do sweet fuck all for the living. So, you better face reality and get your priorities straight. Or... You'll be burying Inu, instead of saving him. Now piss off, and let me work. Some people... ...cannot be saved by understanding alone. I'm going to make this very clear. I've given you more warnings than you deserve. So leave him alone, or I'll make you. You ain't gonna make me do shit. Now get out of here before I... Back off, Pierre! Grow up, and get over yourself. 
And if you lay your fucking hands on me one more time... I said stop! Are you kidding me? You'd seriously try to murder me over this? You... You were going to ruin everything. Just, just like back home. And... And what? What was more killing gonna solve? Is this your idea of a sick joke again? Thought it'd be funny to see me bleed out right next to this guy? That it? You know what? Way back when we buried that wolf, you said I wasted so much life you had no idea why you saved me. Now I know exactly how you feel. Pierre, wait! Don't want to hear it. I'm done. You win. Hope it was worth it. What? No. No, no, no. I'm not. I, I didn't mean to. What is wrong with me? Why can I only make things worse? The mist. It's you. What are you trying to show me? Right there, at the end of the path, when I thought I'd lost everything. That's, That's how, how I, I met, met you. you. Sorry I couldn't help you bury him. I'm the one who should be apologizing. I mean, the stuff I put you through without realizing. I was so stupid and stubborn and short-sighted and... and I never wanted it to end this way. You did what you had to do. We both did. I just wish I knew what we had to do now. Isn't this the wolf you've been chasing? <sighs> yeah. But I used to think appeasing the spirit's anger was all that really mattered. And I'm not sure if it's that simple anymore. I wish you two could have met. Me too. He sounded like a good friend. I'm surprised you kept it all this time. Even if it got me into trouble, it let me feel connected to God in a way. But in the end, I don't think he ever listened. And for all I know, he never has. Hey, do you have 
Any idea how we're supposed to move past all this? Not anymore, no. But I think we should start by going back. What's wrong? It's him. You, you said he died, but I... I wasn't expecting to see him like this. He chose this, Jeanne. Part of me still thinks the Homostasta was right to say the man deserved death. No, it's not that. I almost killed people because of him. I couldn't just sit there and let Tehan suffer, but... What if he was right? What if this really is God's punishment for my betrayal? Maybe. I never should have had faith to begin with. In him, or in God. What do you mean? I lied, sinned, rejected doctrine, used God as a tool. So what's the point of believing any of this? If all it does is ruin lives. <laughs> Listen, I... I can't deny Jesuits like him did terrible things using God as justification. And I'm convinced other outsiders will use the same justification to do worse in the future. Because beliefs, they change us. They can color the way we think, limit our perspectives, make us lose sight of what matters. And yet, I don't think that means your faith, any faith, is fundamentally wrong. Even if your faith's convictions led you astray, they gave you reasons to keep fighting too. I know that, because it was the same for me. Giving up on the Innu would have been like giving up everything that makes me who I am. So, if those convictions are why both of us are standing here, I can't truly call them evil. Then... you don't think I should cast him aside? I don't know. It's not my choice to make. I just think beliefs should inform who we are without dictating who we have to become. So even if you cast aside faith, never cast aside the courage and the compassion that it taught you. <laughs> I really wish Father Augustine had been more like you. Seems they started recovering supplies. Want to give them a hand? No offense, but I don't think I'll be comfortable around that many outsiders. Is that because you think we're irredeemable or something? Worse, I think you're complicated. Every time we're about to see eye to eye, or realize we're not so different, something seems to go wrong, and I'm left wondering if understanding is just some naive dream. Maybe I'm the reason things feel that way. Hey, yes, I. Quit dicking around and help us out. I just can't get over the fact everything is changing because of them. A 
I know they're here to stay. That we need to learn from each other, find new ways to coexist. But how do we move past this, when every new path we've tried so far keeps ending in failure? I'm not sure I'm the right person to answer that. But you may already have an answer, standing right in front of you. It might be hard to believe, after everything that happened. But the Wen that can keep prospering because of what people like Tehan do. He's living proof our peoples can find common ground. And if you choose to do what he does, maybe... Dehon Wastasta didn't choose anything. He did this because he had to. Someday, I'll need to make the same sacrifices he did for the Inu's sake. I keep wishing that I'd never chase the White Wolf's killer. Maybe then, I could keep believing an open mind is all it takes. Instead of realizing how powerless I really am. I know how you feel. Part of me still regrets boarding that ship back in La Rochelle. But regret can find you on both sides of the ocean. And staying behind would have only made things worse for both of us. You said your people's values and your love for this land, they're impossible to cast aside. And ignoring the urge to act, only to realize you could have done something before it was too late? That sounds a million times more soul-crushing than this. Because regardless of the outcome, your actions helped people. You saved Pierre's life in that cave, you fought to rescue people in that fire. Stop Tehan from making a terrible mistake. You're even helping me. So even if there are unresolvable differences between us, we can't let them stop us from changing the things we can change. How then? How do we change the right things without changing who we are, what we believe in? We can't ignore what's happening around us, and we definitely can't hide from it. But just because the world is changing doesn't mean we have to. We can just... adjust. It's like... Starving wolves might hunt new prey, but they'll never become herbivores, right? Our peoples didn't make it this far by giving up, and neither did we. You know, this may not sound like a compliment, but you remind me of my great-grandfather. You spoke to Pierre? Yeah. He agreed to take me to Quebec, just like he promised. It's not ideal, but better to go with him than by myself. Besides, he knows I'm more than dead weight by now. How about you? Back to Totuskak? Mm-hmm. First, I helped the Homostasta's group with reparations, and then... Well, I'll admit, I'm still not sure what to do about the Winter Spirit's grudge. But I won't let that stop me from keeping the Inu safe. Hmm. 
Hey, um, if this is goodbye, then I think you should take it with you. But that's... I don't know how I could repay you for... You already have. I can't begin to tell you how much this means to me. So, I just hope this somehow makes for a fair trade. You kept it. All this time. I know you might not believe in what this symbol represents anymore. But I have faith you'll find your way out there, no matter which path you choose to take. So, promise me you'll stay resilient too, all right? I promise.